This is amazing. Bro. But we're gonna take it a step further. Come on. There we go. Took a couple of seconds, but it's pretty quick. So now you know that this is MS Team's document. What's up, party people? Carolina Mike here, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're gonna learn how to figure out which document libraries are tied to Teams and which ones aren't. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Let's get that time a rolling. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your Microsoft team and you're going to go to any channel. I'm on the general channel and you're going to say open in SharePoint and then ba boom. That is the one that is connected to Microsoft Teams. You go to documents and look, you can see in channels, you can see the files that are in channels. Ah, ah, this is amazing. Bruh. But we're going to take it a step further. We're going to actually show you how to make sure you know where that library is connected wherever you see this shared documents document library. Before we do that, real quick, thank you to all of our subscribers, all 1,700. That's right, we hit 1,700 subscribers. Thank you so much. Now's your chance to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you can know as soon as there's new content available. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's rock. Let's do this. Now, for real. Like, cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to retitle this document library. So check it out. This will not change the URL of the document library. It will change the title. And we'll show you how that can be used. So we're going to go in and we're going to go to the library settings and we're going to bounce over here to the list name description nav and we're going to just say something like I'm going to leave documents in there I'm going to go MS Teams and I like to leave a little note in here and say hey yo there you go there you go I don't know if it would let you but even if you would you don't even want to try I'm sure you could recover it restore it but why even go through that hassle and we're gonna say uh, keep it with nav and all that because it's gonna update this deal over here watch this check this out we're gonna save it boom look at that it just so that way you know when you're in SharePoint and you're just goofing around here in SharePoint uh, oh this one didn't update yet let's, let's make let's come on there we go Took a couple of seconds, but it's pretty quick. So now you know that this is MS Teams document. Yes, I know that when you're in here, Microsoft's done a great job of adding this. This is pretty slick, so that if you do happen to mix your files, you can do that. But you know, generally speaking, I haven't seen a lot of folks use metadata uh, with Microsoft Teams when the doc library is connected to Teams, although you certainly could. I just like to keep them separated. So my suggestion is if you're going to have other sets of files, like your published files or whatever, I would suggest you go to the home and fire off yourself a brand new document library. There will be another video showing you uh, if you do have multiple document libraries in a team connected site, how you can display those doc libraries as tabs. And that link might be over here or something. Thank you for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Please like, subscribe, do the best you can with what you got. Remember, SharePoint rocks and so do you. Take it easy, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.